Uh, hi everybody. Firstly, can I apologise for the uh, lack of videos on my um, 5 foot 6 by 4 foot test layout where I can start uh, practicing things such as uh, static grass. Um, <laughs> my darling wife has decided she wants to decorate the bedrooms. So she started, oh well, God love her, um, in one of the bedrooms and she's taken all the, all the stuff out of that bedroom and put it into the bedroom I wanted to set the layout up. Um, so we've got to decorate one bedroom, then move all the stuff out into the decorated bedroom and then I can set my baseboard up. So that's going to take a few days which uh, is uh, a bit annoying. Um, so what I've decided to do between now and then, um, <clears throat> I want to show you a, a couple of things. Um, as you may know from previous videos, I, I'm not very imaginative when it comes to designing a layout and what should I put on that layout. Um, yeah, I, I probably pinch a lot of your ideas. Um, some of your layouts are absolutely brilliant. Um, but what I have decided to do, which is why this is on the screen, is um, build a, a diorama based on um, a train graveyard stroke scrapyard. Um, this, as you can see, is a coach. I, did, I didn't do this, I, I bought this um, weathered on this trailer and I bought some um, locomotives um, I've got some steam locomotives coming and I want, I'm looking for a diesel um, so I can develop um, the scrapyard um, stroke train graveyard wherever they're called um, I've got um, some arc welding uh, circuit boards coming um, so I'm going to build this diorama um, and I thought I haven't seen anybody building um, a train graveyard diorama and so I thought I'll have a go um, which will be built but which will be you know, based on um, steam and diesel uh, primarily and um, anything to do with that what I need to do is to look on uh, YouTube or somewhere to find pictures uh, so I can have a good idea of what you would find in addition to welders and cutters that sort of thing to dismantle uh, the locomotives at the end of this video I'll, um, I'll put three stills uh, of the three trains that uh, are being delivered and I've got some um, wagons with scrap in it um, should be on its way soon um, and I'll show you those trains when they actually arrive um, and my plan for building this um, scrapyard stroke graveyard um, this I, I think is a Mark II coach which is um, got broken windows and heavily weathered um, train <coughs> excuse me train and low loader um, it doesn't look uh, it looks much better in real life than it does on uh, video um, it comes with flashing lights which I can show you when it's on the diorama um, <coughs> what I want to do is install a circuit board in here and I'll show you that board when I come to do it with flashing lights on the back because obviously I, sh I assume anyway when it's pulling this load along the road it's going to have to have warning lights on the back so I'm going to do that and I'll show you how I do that um, th th that would be fairly soon I would imagine I've got the lights and I've got the circuit board um, the only other thing I want to do is a person who did this if I can show you what they did is they just simply installed this lighting unit uh, with a resistor and then just drop wires out the bottom which goes to a 12 volt feed now what I want to do with this is to take this out completely 
and install a three volt the tiny uh, let me show you one of these which will fit in there quite nicely and oops just jumped away this micro switch which will fit under there like that so that's what I want to do with this to get away with this wire um, and I'll put another micro switch in the back of this and I'll show you how I do this um, well I mean this is fairly straightforward so I'll probably just show you the finished product um, I won't show you me how I do it but I will show you this with the top off and, and how I um, did it and the hardware I used to, to create the flashing lights which is all straightforward um, so yeah I mean that's it for this video really it was just to to let you know um, about my mini uh, test layout that uh, I want to build found out something today which is uh, very interesting for my area is the chap who bought Hornby um, in Margate which is about two minute drive from me um, when I was last in there the staff was telling me he wants to put full size trains in there um, not too sure whether or not he's going to set it up as a, uh, a sort of museum where people can go in I hope he does um, and I've just read that the first train uh, is will be will be arriving I think it's the 2nd of June it's an EMU um, it's got four full-size uh, track in the um, Hornby it's a massive massive warehouse uh, and factory um, absolutely huge so you should be get you should get an awful lot there in there eventually um, I'm hoping he'll open it up to the public. I'd love to be able to see the actual trains, full-size trains. Um, so that's uh, quite exciting news for, for me when there's, in East Kent there isn't a great deal. Anyway, uh, I'll now put the clips up of uh, the trains that I've bought, which are on the way to me. Uh, I'm hoping to get a diesel. Um, and then I want to plan out the, the scrapyard. Um, I'll just show you another thing I want to do. Let's quickly move this out of the way. Now I've had this set for some time. Let me just pick it up. Which is this. Let's get it into shot. Um, which is the Super Voyager class 221. Um, this is new and I've had this for a bit. Um, it's uh, DC and I want to convert it to DCC um, it needs three decoders and uh, I'll show you how I convert all three coaches all three units that require decoders um, the drive unit is, uh, is, in, is in one of the coaches uh, the motor the front and rear cars uh, a dummy, both dummy they have directional lights uh, and I'll show you how I altered the circuit board in there to uh, get the directional lights to work and that'll be the next project so um, the next video will probably be showing you my actual trains for the, for the diorama and uh, then there'll be this and hopefully by then my wife will have finished the bedroom and I can put the baseboard up so uh, thanks a lot for your time. Bye for now.